Please don't kill that man. What? The woman comes back, Karen, uh, my ex-wife, just shows up out of nowhere, like a ghost, and calls me by another name. Uh, and she has a very uh, indecent proposal for me. She says, you know, you were right, I was wrong. Good to see you, John. Took so long to find you. What do you say? Say I'm not called John anymore. It's funny, huh? Why would you want to find me? Karen has watched her life slip away from her over the last 10 years of her marriage. She married a man for security and he turned out to be a monster. So I think where she's at right now, she's not hoping for, um, for anything grand. She's not hoping for any romantic stories. I think she just wants to get back to stability. I want you to take him out on your boat. Let him get drunk. Then drop him in the ocean for the sharks. This whole world seems to be about people who have a lot more past than they do future, in a way. They have that in common, and they've made peace, or that's the goal, is to make peace with what your life winds up meaning. Some weird stuff going on right now. This whole island's a part of it, but nobody knows it. Okay, John, you want the truth? It's really well written. Stephen's very commonsensical and calm about how he goes about everything. So he put together a great script, one that I found thrilling, and one that I said, ooh, and that's a film, that's what I want to see. Sometimes we do bad things for good reasons.